Okay, so the day is coming. We've picked up the van. And now I can start unwrapping all my new uh, toys and security. That's the first stuff I've bought for the van. And here is our the famous uh, Sentinel Clutch Claw. So, security does not cost, it pays. And it appears I paid £104.10p. I found a discount of some sort somewhere. I'm trying to remember where now. And if I do remember, I'll put it in the video description. Because uh, I think these are usually a bit dearer than this. So it comes with your invoice. And it then comes, obviously, with how to fit, etc. What comes with it. Check you've got all the bits. All wrapped. Wow, God, that's pretty heavy duty looking stuff actually. All right, I have no idea what that all is. I'm presuming it's all adjustable. That's pretty, pretty heavy lump of thing. Um, oh, it's even got a wee light. Didn't know it had a wee light. Can't see anywhere to put any uh, batteries, so I've no idea. It could just be for show. So let's have a little look. Okay, on the instructions for the battery, uh, pull tab. Inside the yellow box, you will find the LED unit and a plastic tab needs to be removed to activate the battery. All right, and then the flashing light will work. Okay. Turn over. Oh, there's diagrams on the back. I'm bloody old pull. There you go, okay. Ah, so on some vehicles it might be necessary to modify the length of the center bar and or the length of the pegs to achieve a better fit. For example, the 2006 to 13 Ford Transit. This is an advantage the claw has on other devices. Please be careful, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that looks quite fairly straightforward. So let's just, first thing I want to do is check the key works. All right, and then it, as you can see, it pops right out. So there we go. And it's like a, a key ring. And the instructions are call it a circlet, but this is actually a key ring. stop this from sliding up and down but there's different spacers as well to adjust for your vehicle I've really thought this through which is very reassuring Okay, so you're going to need a pen of some sort, I've got a Sharpie, 17mm spanner and a screwdriver, according to the instructions. So you need your screwdriver to undo the bottom two screws, with which have got cup washers. So don't lose them. And then this should come out. There we go. That's the bottom plate, which will be attaching through that. And here is our little LED light. And it's a plastic tab, now removed. And there's a little white, you may or may not see this. I'm hoping you will. You can also see a hope. I hope you can see the lock. 
it's quite substantial. And apparently the battery should last about 12 months and it's a standard one of those CR2032 batteries. Okay, next. We remove all the spacers. And then we just have the these two parts. And now we need to go to the van. And this essentially has to be on the floor, pushed all the way in. Okay. And this. You might think it has to be on top of the pedals, it doesn't. This has to come all the way down and then under the pedals and then mark where we think it's going to be. And then we use the spacers. So let's go to the van and we'll do that. Okay, I hope you're going to be able to see this. So essentially, okay, so I'm, this is the Boxer Stroke Ducato. 2021 model and the flattest bit across here is between the brake and the clutch. There's a bit of a bump under the accelerator um, So we're gonna fit it so the bar comes between these two by the looks of things I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. So that would go right on the floor, but in fact this part would also then that's got to go underneath okay, all the way back there we go I was a bit worried for a second but yeah it'll go underneath pushed all the way there so that this will all lock on this is and then if I use my marker to mark my spacer isn't much luckily there's one that looks roughly right I'm just going to slide that on there See if yeah, that looks like that's going to be the job to me. In fact, that way is easier and better. Okay, so that definitely looks right. I've worked out my gaps, put in my spacer, fitted that. And now I need to refit the circle very fiddly. And a hint is to reuse one of the spacers. There we go. If you use the spacer, it pushes it down very easily. Right, now that I'm happy with this being able to fit, just check again underneath. Next thing is to work out my peg positions. Essentially going to sit here and make sure that I've got, so just basically use a sharpie either side of your pedals. So these are where the pedal is, pedal, okay, so I need to put one, two, three, four, but then that needs lining up, lining up with these, so 
I'm going to use that hole. That hole. That innermost one. Maybe that one. Definitely that one. The advantage here is these are actually each hole's threaded. And you put a knot on. Test run here for space. Okay. Okay, that feels pretty good. Let's see, tighten these up now with the spanner. We're going to fit the plate. Mm. Screw these back on, and that's it, it's fitted. So to actually lock the vehicle, slide it underneath, bring it up, line up your bars, okay, get it to where you want everything locked together, and that's it. It's now well secured. There's no way anybody's getting through that easily. And as you can see, I also have my Stoplock Pro all set up. So that's two, plus the other couple of hidden things that I've actually got in this van, a tracker. And um, it is a factory immobilizer, but I've got an extra immobilizer, a hidden CCTV in here, and a tracker. So... Oh, plus I've got a lock here for the uh, seat, which is a common modification to lock the driver's seat in the reverse configuration. So I've got all of that as well. So if somebody gets into it, they're going to be on CCTV and it's going to make a hell of a lot of noise. Right, ice cream!